We're ready to go racing then. The final is formed here at Lydon. This is the Toyo Tires Motorsport UK British Rallycross Championship. And the man on pole position is Ollie O'Donovan. Derek Toehill is with him on the middle of the front row. Julian Godfrey on the outside. Row two is Jake Harris with Pat Duran for company. Then it is Andy Grant, Nigel Burke and Liam Manning in as a reserve. Dan Mike stepping out of the race. Everybody looks towards the lights, which any second will blink green now. Who makes the best start? Good getaway by Toehill. Even better getaway by Godfrey. Derek Toehill does not joker, and therefore Ronnie O'Donovan has to go with him. They're side by side around Chesson's Drift. Godfrey jokers, so does Liam Manning. But it's O'Donovan who comes out ahead, and that could well be crucial. There is Godfrey. He's joking. He's got it out of the way. Now he can push to the end of this six lap race. O'Donovan leads the pack. Toehill being. Given a tough time by Jake Harris, goes out of the devil's elbow. They climb the hill together now. Brake hard, down through the gears, touch the handbrake to drag the car around. There's a bit of damage look on the front of Derek Terhill's car, where he rubbed up against Ollie O'Donovan. But it is O'Donovan away by what? Two lengths as they drop down towards Paddock. Harris third, Duran is fourth. Across the loose, they bounce now. Up to the end of lap number one of the six. And O'Donovan does lead the way as Duran jokers. But I reckon the gap's come down a smidge between the top two. Tohill is getting closer to O'Donovan. Duran gets very sideways there into that chicane on the joker lap. Andy Grant is behind him. And there are the race leaders. And the gap is definitely less. Derek Tohill taking Jake Harris with him. Jake having one of his best days in a supercar. Not that far adrift in third place. This is O'Donovan's view. Fourth, third, set gear. Down to first. Grab the handbrake. Up the kerb. Get sideways. Where is Derek Tohill in all of this? Can he find a way through on pace or does he have to try and do it on the Jokers? Down they come, into Paddock, turn right. Lower down, Andy Grant has got Nigel Burke for company. Focus versus Impreza, the Subaru chasing the Ford. Derek Tohill now goes for that Joker, Ollie O'Donovan does not. Nigel Burke heading Liam Manning in the Subaru fight. Derek Tohill bounces his way out of the chicane. And there is Julian Godfrey. This is going to be crucial. Godfrey can't quite get up alongside Tohill. So on the Jokers, Derek Tohill, despite the back of the car falling apart around him, he is ahead now. Andy Grant gets the Joker done now. Makes his way back onto the loose. And Derek Tohill's car has certainly picked up big damage on the front and now more at the back. But despite bodywork peeling away from the car, he is ahead of Julian Godfrey. And so now it's game on as far as the race lead is concerned. O'Donovan has the gap and very wide goes Harris. But when O'Donovan jokers, will this man, Derek Tohill, in what's left of his Fiesta, get the race lead? Let's see. O'Donovan goes for the joker. Harris jokers behind him. Where is Derek Tohill? It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. It is going to be Derek Tohill ahead. He's gone through on the joker lap. Derek Tohill leads at Lydon. He's never had a British Championship victory here before. This could well be the day. And Derek Tohill, with smoke pouring off the back of the car, with bodywork falling off the back as well, has the advantage as they now dive into the hairpin. O'Donovan closing right up under braking. He can't get too close because there's all of this car in his way coming off the back of Derek Tohill's Fiesta. That bodywork peel back like a tin can. Across the loose they go. Just wonder whether the officials are going to be happy to let that carry on as Andy Grant goes through on the inside there of Nigel Burke. He goes through and gains a place in the process. But he understeers a bit wide coming out of the hairpin and Burke gets back through. Derek Tohill with bodywork now starting to peel itself off. Flies into the face of O'Donovan. That's always the fear. Bodywork flies and it hits the car behind O'Donovan isn't phased, it seems, by that. Julian Godfrey still there in third place, but O'Donovan can't really stay close enough. He is good under braking again there. Look, you see the gap come down, but Derek Tohill sprints clear out of the hairpin. Into Paddock, through that right, then flick, left and right, back onto the tarmac oh so briefly, and then plunge onto the loose at Chesson's Drift. They all clamber up the kerb there. But Tohill, after the Joker, is getting away. You could argue it's because the car is lighter. But equally, it may not be 100% fit after the damage has been sustained. There's clearly contact to create all of that damage. Bits of car in the middle of the road. There's damage on the front, lots of damage on the back. And Derek Tohill leads. But now who is going to be second? He is getting away. But it's game on for second spot between now O'Donovan and Godfrey. Grant is ahead of Manning, is ahead of Burke. There is O'Donovan. And Julian Godfrey has dropped back a little bit. Now, has Godfrey got a problem? Suddenly, the pressure is released from Oli O'Donovan. The race leader is Derek Tohill, who looks as though he's heading for a win at Lydon Hill. He sprints his way through the chicane. 
Chequered flag is waved and Derek Towhill wins round two of the Toyota's British Rallycross Championship. Second is Ollie O'Donovan and third will go the way of a delayed Julian Godfrey. Right at the very end, something has gone wrong with Godfrey's car as Andy Grant understeers out of the hairpin. So drama all the way through the race here at Lynn. Andy Grant is on target here for sixth place, despite all the understeer that you can see there. He's going to be ahead of Liam Manning, seventh, and Nigel Burke, eighth. But it's a win for Derek Towhill. Race results, first of all. Derek Towhill is the winner from Ollie O'Donovan and Julian Godfrey. Jake Harris, fourth, ahead of Pat Duran. And Andy Grant in sixth.